<laughs> this project just cracks me up. Spalted pecan. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one. So this is really weird. See how that's like really thin. I mean, it's at 139. This one too. They should be a little bit thicker than that. Um, not really sure what's going on. One forty nine. And 46. It's at 200 degrees. I guess it might be starting to gel up finally. But it's smoking, so I'm going to go ahead and pour. Starting to gel up now. Gelled right up. So fast. Now I'm going to need to get this into the vacuum or something real quick. The pressure pot. I just took this out of there. It hasn't been in too long, but look at it. It's popped up out of the mold. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm just going to leave it right here on the bench to finish curing for the few hours. But yeah, it's a, uh, it must have had air trapped and got hot and popped it out because it's, it's out. So, I've got cracks in this. It got way too hot too fast. I knew that was going to happen. So, I got to start over. I got to recast this. All right, here's uh, going to be attempt number two. I got some dogwood. This is actually what the customer wanted, and I didn't have any. And then I found a small piece out in my building. From when I did the frozen water bowl, I'll put that link right up here. So uh, we're gonna re-pour this, uh, and I guess try this again.
Attempt number two didn't quite work out. Big crack right there all the way. Uh, some other cracks. I started trying to repair it, but just ain't, ain't working out. Ain't working out. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. All right, I had to abandon that other uh, blank. We're going to start over with this. This is dogwood. And, uh, yeah, this one did a lot better. I don't have any cracks or anything. I do have some places I got to fill in, like this little void right there. But I think it, it's going to be fine. Let me see if you can see this this is the cool thing about natural wood look at this this is like a stain in the wood or something and it goes all the way to there it might disappear once i put a finish on it but i don't know um i'm not sure if you can see it good and there's one on this side too right here it looks like something got on the wood but you saw me just do what i did <laughs> sitting there sanding the outside and i forgot the inside <laughs> so let's get that done been through all the grits um, I usually don't use uh, these mesh pads right here but I want to give it a shot and see how it looks so first I gotta pretty good I don't know if I do that every time now I gotta wait for this all to dry again I may use this for doing resin bowls but
Well, <laughs> I finally got it done. Okay, that was an experience, all right? This is the original one right here. I ended up uh, fixing some of the cracks on the outside, but the inside had some cracks, so I still had to fix those. Uh, the second time I cast this, I got some cracks. I'm repairing those, but there's still a large crack right here. But this is the third time, third time's charm. If you find me, if you follow me on Instagram, you, you notice the frustration I have. Uh, the problem with this is you have to let that, that resin heat up so it gels up so it'll mix but not become one solid color. And when you do that, it causes that, uh, that reaction to, to happen where it gets way too hot, okay? So, things I did with this one and this one that I didn't do with this one, okay? This one right here and this one. I stuck in the vacuum chamber for five or ten minutes before I put it in the pressure pot. Well, I learned that you can't do that. Because when you do that, the vacuum chamber heats it up even more and it gives and it starts to gel up in there and as it gels up and it's heating up, it cracks. This one I put straight in the pressure pot and it worked like a charm. Okay. But now I got two other blanks I've got to repair and then I'll I'll put these on my website. Uh for reduced cost but this one right here is going to a lucky customer uh, it's beautiful it's got such nice purple and that teal color um, so uh, yeah I, th I think I think it turned out great it's got that dogwood which I found in in a pile it's just a scrap piece of dogwood that I I found but that's what they wanted originally and you'll notice I did pecan here and then I put some dogwood in here the other half of that but it didn't work out all right, well, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you heading on down, hitting that subscribe button, hitting the, uh, the bell so you know when stuff's coming out. And uh, until the next video, stay cool.